Well, hello, TRM partners. Pastor Philip Derber with my daughter in the faith, Debbie Taylor, filling in for Mama Alberta. And I got a weekly word for you. What a time we're living in. Welcome, Deb. Thank you, sir. Good to, good to good have to be you. here. Yeah. Thank you. Mom asked you to fill in the whole she week. Did. The whole week. <laughs> I tell you what, you got some big little shoes. I know. Tall <laughs> shoes. <laughs> but uh partners, we're in we're in a really special time. It's uh Halloween. And I and I don't want you to miss what I'm releasing in St. Petersburg today. So make sure that you uh Watch that if you're watching this on Sunday. Uh, but the Lord gave me this word about joy. Amen. And how essential joy is. And I believe, Debbie, that uh, we are entering in, you know, a Christmas joy to the world. Mm -hmm. The Lord has come and all that. I believe we're entering into the joyous two months November and December that we've seen ever Amen. for the body of Christ. And uh, joy uh, is so vital, so necessary. Uh, I'm talking about the spiritual force of joy. I'm not talking about how the world views joy. You know, they, they got to drink joy juice right. and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, their joy is temporary. Right. Ours is eternal. But uh, I want you to read uh, James chapter 1, okay. uh, verses 1 through 4. 1 through 4, okay. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Now, notice in that first verse, partners, Debbie, mm -hmm. James, he's the pastor of the church at Jerusalem. This is the half-brother that ended up being the full brother mm -hmm. <laughs> of Jesus. And uh, he's writing to the 12 tribes that are scattered. Something has come down from the religious community and the government yeah. that caused them to flee, mm -hmm. to forsake yeah. the assembling of themselves. Right. Just like we've experienced, mm -hmm. you know, with all this uh, government lockdowns and trying to shut the church down and all this mess. Well, what happened was Stephen had been killed and, you know, Peter and so on and so forth. Yeah. And the, the church just started Scattered. scattered and it's in that kind of conflict we're not talking about you know uh, the engine light came on on your car we're talking about some severe yeah. stuff here mm -hmm. and james says count it all joy count it all joy now he says he doesn't say if you fall he says when when all of us are going to be subject to temptation. Now, the temptation, uh, partners, listen, the temptation is always to quit. It's not to go out and get drunk. It's not to get high again. It's not to uh, run off with that pretty woman or guy or whatever you're thinking about or, or just uh, quit going, uh, uh, you're mad at somebody at church or whatever, whatever, whatever. It's always to quit your, what you're standing on then those other things just end up being the fruit right. of quitting. Mm -hmm. So uh, whenever you see uh, temptation, the devil has to get you to quit uh, a believer from standing on the Word of God, mm -hmm. operating, being a doer of the Word of God, right. to uh, shut down uh, their manifestation, what they're gifted and called to do, uh, their destiny to be fulfilled. And so he says, my brethren, count it. He didn't say feel it. Count it. All joy when you're being tempted to quit. Yeah. 
Now, I'll tell you what, uh, Debbie, have you ever been tempted to quit? <laughs> yeah, a few times. Yeah, sure. quit, quit. Uh, quit can be your job, it can be your marriage, it can be church, it can be, you know, I've, I, you know, I, that, that one time I, I was done. I ain't pastoring no more. I was a young preacher. I, I had it. I told God I'm going to preach one more sermon. That's it. I'm gone. Find you somebody else. Right. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, of course, that didn't mm -mm. go over very well. And I'm still here. <laughs> but uh, the temptation to quit uh, marriage it is, is, you know, wonder, it's wonderful when you look into your bride or your groom's eyes and, you know, all sparkle and all that. But, uh, you know, on down the road, that sparkle might not be there. And and I'm in this thing. Right. Right? For the long haul. Yeah. And it takes work. Mm -hmm. So any covenant relationship uh, takes work. Well, our relationship with God yeah. is a covenant relationship. Mm -hmm. And the devil wants to stop this. Right. So you got to know something. Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking about in verse 3. Mm -hmm. He said, knowing this, this is how you can count it all mm -hmm. joy when you're being tempted to quit. Yes. You got to know this. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know this, yes. <laughs> then you're really going to be bummed out. Mm -hmm. Oppression will set in, right. so on and so forth, all this stuff. So it says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith. Now here, partners, listen. The devil is not trying you. He, he, you don't matter to him. What matters to him is the word that's in you. Yeah. Because what Faith cometh by hearing, mm -hmm. hearing by the word of God. So the trying of your faith, that is what he's after. The Bible says uh, the sower soweth the word mm -hmm. and Satan comes to steal the word. Mm -hmm. Well, when he can't stay, uh, steal the word, mm -hmm. then he tries to bring all these uh, mm -hmm. situations against a believer yeah. to try to get them mm -hmm. To give up on the word, quit the word. Yes. Well, that faith stuff didn't work. I'm still still got that pain. I tell you what, uh, my my finances are worse than when I ever started going that church and all that stuff. Oh yeah, right. But you got to know this: that the trying of your faith kicks something in. Mm -hmm. It works patience. Yeah. So listen, partners, joy and patience, powerful, powerful uh, tools that will uh, assist your faith. You know, uh, Pastor Elizabeth, yes. I mean, Sister Joy herself. Sister. Right? Yes, absolutely. But as her spiritual father mm -hmm. and pastor, I've seen her in my office at the at her wit's end mm -hmm. making herself mm -hmm. ha 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 yeah. tears streaming down her face yeah. ha 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 working that thing yeah stirring it up right mm -hmm. right and uh joy cometh in the morning yeah well what's that mean you got to wait till the next morning what it means is that's when the day dawn day star starts mm -hmm. rising in your heart you might yeah. be in a dark time right, right? but knowing this uh-uh, it don't stay like this. Mm -mm. I'm not I'm not going to be tempted to quit forever. Right. This is a temporary thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we just walked through that ordeal with Simon moving yeah. to heaven. And, you know, uh, 48 hours without sleep, tending to him as mm -hmm. he's about to leave. And, you know, when you go without sleep that long and uh, every moment, you know, having to, uh, cater to him yeah. uh, to keep him comfortable and so on and so forth and clean him up and all that other yeah. stuff. The enemy tries to use those moments mm -hmm. to get you to talk goofy, yeah. to say something, mm -hmm. you know, and that's where you have to lay your head on the pillow like Jesus did in the midst of the storm yeah. and realize you're going over to the other side, mm -hmm. right? And so, how do you do that? Patience and joy. 
Yeah, it's cruise control to your fate. And but but you can have patience, Deb, and not be joyous. That's true. That's true. So when you put the two together, there you go. And you make up your mind. Whoa, whoa, mm -mm. I'm not going there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw a party. Right. Well, what you got a party about? Life, life more abundantly. Yeah. And 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 listen, partners, we've just come through two years of having to constantly stir ourselves up, constantly. It used, you know, we were used to using our faith for ourselves and our ministry. We didn't know we were going to have to use our faith at such a degree for the church around the world and for our city, for our state, for our nation. Right. And so we, uh, we've had to uh, buckle down. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, at the same time, uh, I've been encouraging all of you along the way. Celebrate. Mm -hmm. Celebrate. Keep keep the party going. The devil hates that. Oh, yeah. Right. But it says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience, but let patience have a perfect work. That you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. What's that talking about? It's talking about. What verse 2 is trying to get you to quit on, verse 4 brings it in. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely. What verse 2, what the devil's trying to get you to quit on, verse 4 brings it into manifestation. Mm -hmm. And that's joy and patience when your faith is being tried. See? Now, Nehemiah, that good old scripture... It says in verse 8, Nehemiah 8, verse 8. So they read in the book, so they read in the book in the law of God distinctly and gave the sense. Mm -hmm. They made them understand and caused them to understand the reading. See, it's one thing to have a Bible. It's another thing for it to be made real to you what the Bible yeah. actually says. And Nehemiah, which is a, Tershatha and Ezra the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people, said unto the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God, mourn not nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. So they were crying because they realized that their life was living in a uh, out of sync yeah. with what the word of God said. Mm -hmm. And they were crying, saying, my goodness, no wonder all this has been happening, so on and so forth, and that hadn't been happening. Mm -hmm. But he said unto them, go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord, neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength okay so how the people were responding to the word was opposite of how god wanted them to respond mm -hmm. they were responding sorrowful crying and ezra's telling them whoa whoa, whoa time out mm -hmm. no 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 we're, we're, that, that's that's not that's not what we're talking about here uh, yeah, Ezra. He said, "Go your way, throw a party. Mm -hmm. well, don't stay, don't stay like that. Because the the very strength that you got from hearing the word, yeah, you're about to lose it. Yeah, getting weaker. Yeah, by all this feeling sorry mm -hmm. and moping and crying. Mm -hmm. No, no, uh, you need to go in what we just made you understand." Yeah. And throw a party because the joy of the Lord mm -hmm. is your strength. Mm -hmm. So, partners, listen. Manifestation is going to begin, not going to begin, it already has begun. Uh, we just had testimonies in our church not too long ago, and people were giving testimony after testimony after testimony. But I'm telling you, uh, from 
we're, we're entering into November. Mm -hmm. This is a, if you're watching this on Sunday, Sunday night is a hallowed evening. Yeah. Moving in to what uh, has been uh, phrased All Saints Day, November 1st, mm -hmm. right? But October 31st, Deb, you know what they call that day other than Halloween? Mm -hmm. It's the day of reformation. Oh. It's the day of reforming. Oh. And so it's been lost mm -hmm. in this trick or treat. Right. But God is about to throw a trick or treat. Amen. Trick mm -hmm. for the wicked. Yeah. Treat for the righteous. Yes. Amen. And we got to get into the joy mode yeah. and stay in it with patience, knowing that our faith is out there working the angels moving on our behalf. Amen. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, partners, that's the word we got. And, and uh, uh, just walk in that, bask in that. Stir yourself up if you've been sitting there uh, meditating the problem, snap out of that. Quit that. Get back over on the answer, and and understand. Uh, you just you just ain't that important to the devil, but you're very important to God. Yes. See, and the devil just wants to try to uproot your faith, and and just get your joy moving. But I mean, set set your uh, your spiritual thermostat on joy kick patience in, and put it on automatic, and let that thing run, and watch what God's going to do. Amen. I want to pray for you, partners. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up all of our partners with uh, Times of Refreshing Ministry. Lord, we're, we're grateful. Me and Mom Alberta, we're grateful for their support, their prayer support, their financial gifts, and we thank you, Lord God, that they maintain joy, they maintain patience, and they maintain faith. And we explode into November and December, the greatest joyous time we've ever experienced watching your seventh hand move. I pray and bless them. Spirit, soul, body, financially, socially, I rebuke pain. Somebody, you're having a problem in your wrist. In the name of of Jesus. Just begin to move it like I'm moving my wrist right now. In Jesus' mighty name. I don't know if you sprained it or whatever, but be healed in Jesus' mighty name. If you need prayer for any area of your life, the helpline is there for you. Right? Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 says, where the word of a king is, there, there is, is power. power. Be a blessing.